I learned that the lenticular lenses that I had used for quantum stealth to make things invisible also had a reflective issue which can be solved a number of ways such as with anti-reflective coatings. But then I wondered if I could utilize this issue for an advantage. As the lenticular lenses are polarized, could those lenticules be used to channel extra light onto the solar panel? Indeed it could, I discovered. I then decided to see if adding a mirror under the lens would boost the amount of light, and sure enough, it worked. By adding these lenticular mirror combinations on all four sides, I was able to more than triple the power output over the identical control panel on a thin film solar panel and nearly triple the output on a monocrystalline solar panel. Wouldn't mirrors work better? Mirrors are limited by both their vertical and horizontal angle, and as you can see from this video, the surface area of the three mirrors is not fully reflective at any one time, which can lead to specific hotspots on the panel that can damage it. The lenticular lenses over the mirrors provides a much greater reflective surface area, which more evenly distributes the extra reflected sunlight across the panel, vastly reducing the hotspot problem. I then found I could further increase the output and structural integrity by creating lenticular lens cylinders with a mirror inside which created a greater surface area within the same footprint as a flat sheet, and this would offer much better weather resistance against the wind and snow and self-cleaning when it rained. The final breakthrough came just a few weeks before the patent was due to be filed. I was experimenting with our laser scattering using diffraction grating and wondered if it might have an effect on my solar amplifier. Not only did we get another 9% more power with the diffraction grating over the lenticular lens, which was over the mirror, and this 9% was only using one lenticular sheet, as I only had a few pieces of double access diffraction grating to experiment with, it also occurred on December the 6th, where solar radiation is only about one third of what it is at the beginning of summer. Not only did I get an increase in power, but the double axis diffraction grating was equally reflective across 40 degrees to the right of center and 40 degrees to the left of center, equaling 80 degrees total, and about the same 80 degrees in the vertical angle as well, meaning that we may not have to track the sun with the solar panel to obtain the amplified output. Creating a solar panel amplifier is not new, but tripling the power output of a solar panel with an amplifier is new. It's supposed to be impossible, but as my father-in-law says, the impossible just takes a little longer.